Lupus erythematosus is the designation for a wide array of clinical illnesses linked together by distinct patterns of cellular and humoral autoimmunity. LE ranges from life-threatening manifestations of acute systemic LE to the limited and exclusive skin involvement in chronic cutaneous LE. First on the spectrum, we have acute cutaneous lupus erythematosus, or ACLE. Localized ACLE presents with a malar rash, commonly referred to as the classic butterfly rash. It is a confluent symmetric erythema and edema centered over the malar eminences that bridges over the nose with the nasolabial folds characteristically spared. Generalized ACLE, also referred to as the maculopapular rash of SLE, photosensitive lupus dermatitis, and SLE rash, presents with widespread exanthematous eruption, often focused over the extensor aspects of the arms and hands and characteristically sparing the knuckles. ACLE is typically precipitated or exacerbated by exposure to UV light and symptoms may last hours, days, or weeks. Differentials of ACLE include rosacea, seborrheic dermatitis, sunburn, contact dermatitis, and erysipelas. Next on the spectrum is subacute cutaneous lupus erythematosus or SCLE. There are two subtypes. First, we have the papulous squamous type, which are sharply defined erythematous lesions with slight delicate scaling evolving into bright red confluent plaques that are oval, arc-like, or forming multiple coalescing circles. Second is the annular type, which presents as bright red round lesions with central regression and little scaling. SCLE are photosensitive and occur in predominantly sun-exposed areas. They tend to be less transient than ACLE lesions and heal with more pigmentary change. On the other end of the spectrum is chronic cutaneous lupus erythematosus, or CCLE. In most cases, there is only cutaneous involvement without any systemic symptoms. They can also be precipitated by UV exposure but to a lesser extent than ACLE or SCLE. CCLE commonly manifests as the classic discoid lupus. Discoid lupus lesions start as bright red papules evolving into sharply demarcated plaques with adherent scaling. The scales are difficult to remove and show spines on the undersurface resembling carpet tacks. Hence its name, the carpet tack sign. Plaques are round or oval, may have central clearing or appear as multiple coalescing circles with irregular borders and expand in the periphery and regress in the center, resulting in atrophic central scarring, telangiectasia, and hypopigmentation. DLE lesions are most frequently encountered on the face, scalp, ears, V area of the neck, and extensor aspects of the arms. Other cutaneous findings that are not specific to LE include non-scarring alopecia, mouth ulcers, Raynaud's phenomenon, vasculitis or vasculopathy, and bullous systemic lupus erythematosus. These often herald an SLE flare. Treatment of cutaneous LE consists of sun avoidance, broad-spectrum sunscreens, topical and systemic steroids, topical calcineurin inhibitors, antimalarials, immunosuppressive agents, and biologic therapies.